Hi guys, here is JNM again with the next Godot tutorial, and this one is about 3D character movement. Last time we imported this low poly character here with animations, but in this first tutorial for 3D movement, we will keep it simple and write a character movement GD script that we use for a kinematic body with a simple 3D mesh. Okay, before we start, we have to add colliders to the meshes. You can select a mesh, like this rock here, and then choose Mesh and select Create Convex Static Body. We do this for all the meshes with that the player is going to collide, because otherwise the player would fall through the terrain and we don't want this. So the static body will be added for each of these meshes and also a collision shape. Ok, I think that's enough, now I'm going to add a very simple mesh that I will use as a third person character and move around in this environment. Alright, the mesh that I use is a sphere. Ok, and now I move it over here. And scale it down, like so. The next thing we need is a kinematic body. So I add it here, to the player. But it has to be the parent of the mesh. And here you can see we get this warning telling us that we have to add a collision shape. So I will do this, add the collision shape to the kinematic body. And as a shape I select again a sphere. And this shape matches the player mesh nicely, here you can see it. And now we are ready to add the script to implement a basic player movement logic. I add the script to the kinematic body because we want to move this object. Select attach script and you see it inherits kinematic body and I call this player GD. Ok, so let's write some code. First we need a few variables for the gravity, a velocity vector for the player's movement and the camera used in the scene. After that I define some constant values like the movement speed, the acceleration and the deacceleration of the movement. In the ready function that is called when the node is added to the scene I get my camera. I use the getNode method and as parameter I use the path to the camera node in the scene. We are going to move a kinematics body node, which is related to physics, so we will use the function physics process to implement this movement. I add a direction vector and then I check if the user has pressed the keys that I want to use for moving the player. These keys I have to define as actions in the project settings. So let's open this and define these actions. The first one I call move underscore fw for the move forward action. Press add to add the action and then this plus icon, choose key. And then I press W to define this key as the moving forward action. Ok, and the same thing I do for backwards, left and right. So now the actions are mapped to the keys WASD. And now we can go ahead and set the direction of the movement depending on the user input and I will use the vectors of the camera to determine the direction of the player. In the current scene the camera is fixed, but in one of the next videos I will add different kinds of camera follow implementations. Ok, now I normalize the direction vector and after that I calculate the velocity based on the gravity. In this code I multiply the speed with the direction to define the horizontal velocity, but I don't assign it directly. 
First I check whether the player is accelerating or deaccelerating and then I use this acceleration value to interpolate the velocity. Ok, now I have my velocity value and I use this in the function move and slide that moves the kinematic body along a vector and if the body collides with another one, it is going to slide along this rather than stop immediately. And here you can see it in action, I use the WASD keys to control it and as you can see it is colliding with the collision shapes, with the terrain, the rocks, the tent. Very nice. Ok guys, in the next part we will extend this script and apply it to the low poly player. He also needs to be rotated based on the input and the camera will follow him a lot of stuff to fully implement a third person player logic. I will upload the script to my Patreon account and you can get it from there for free. If you like this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and perhaps you consider supporting me here on my Patreon to help this channel grow. Thanks for watching guys and see you soon.